Oh, that was good. All right, let me get one more here. You might know Orange Man from the Fancy Lad crew out of Boston, known for building Frankenstein-like skateboards. From flipping his board with rope to nailing multiple decks together, some might see him as a clown, others as an innovator. Eager to see how a board comes to life, we sent a filmer to document the process. Remember this guy? Oh, you remember this guy? Playing boy? Oh yeah. He's a cutie. Not gonna be so cute in a minute. Basically, it's actually gonna look a little something like this. You know, like... But, uh... I've been big into the board within a board thing. Especially that I just saw Inception for the first time. When I'm set up this board, it might take an hour, maybe two. Maybe it will take hours of biking around to find the perfect spot. The assembly in the prep always outweighs actually using it. Some of them literally last 10 minutes, that's it. But it's always worth it because like, for that two second clip that will really give you any kind of reaction, it's always worth it. Someone tagged me in this drawing that said, all hail the orange man, and it was a drawing of Trump. And I was like, holy shit, are people saying that I support Trump and that our orangeness is not a mere coincidence? Honestly, I think you could compare me to him as just like a random ass American white dude. So I'm like, fuck, I don't want people to think I'm a Trump supporter and I damn sure don't want them to think that I'm a friggin' mascot of him. And I was having this kind of identity crisis and I'm talking with my dude, Zacher. He's like, well, Charlie Chaplin, you know, when he was doing his thing, Hitler had come to power and they both had the same mustache going on. And Charlie Chaplin decided to keep his signature mustache and use it to parody Hitler. Well, so maybe I can like be the buffoon I am and draw attention to that kind of buffoonery. Board manipulation, that's what we call the contraptions. I can't <laughs> kick flip. I've done a few heel flips in my life and usually use string to make my board flow. I just wonder if I'll ever be considered a skater by other skaters or a pro by other pros. Likely not, because I don't think skating is that open-minded. But I think like I'm a good sideshow attraction that skaters and maybe pros can enjoy. It's only so much about. 